Perhaps the last day of the year. I see you, Carlos. Good day. Happy New Year's Eve. Yeah, good day, everyone. It's, uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. here. The last day of 2021. We are in the, the final, what, 15, 16 hours. Michigan, good day. Grand Rising. Uh, let, what's everyone doing for the last day of the year? Susie, Rachel, yep. Pom-pom resistance is here in the morning. <clears throat> Good day, Darlene. I know, just a few more hours. I know, these are the, the babies. I thought I'd just uh, come on and go live with them on their walk. Yep, Susie, that's pretty good. There's, there's nothing to going on anyway. I'm going to try and get some work done. It's like the time, there's no time to plan anything. It's like what happened to Christmas? That came and went. It's like a distant memory already. So yeah, I expect this new year to be the same. And then we just all of a sudden be well into 2022. So let's all stick together and pay attention and not lose track of time and reality come babies let's go yeah happy new year everyone yeah our brothers and sisters out there in australia and new zealand are probably uh just almost at the final couple hours and counting down Thank you, Lou. Love you all. Thank you, Lady DR. God bless you. Happy New Year. Yeah, just a, a normal calm morning. You know, every day feels like the calm before the storm because I'm very much so anticipating some craziness that we've never seen before. Coco, what is that, Coco? Go get the squirrel. Carlos, you're all right. It's going to be like 2020 plus 2021, all jammed into 2022 plus more. The weather's not too bad. It's pretty warm, as you can see. Like, it's snowed on and off, but it's warm enough that it's melting. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, these days, these seasons are just flying by. Wow, it's summer in Texas. How hot is it, Susie? Like a prince. Happy babies. He says, keep it moving, little palm army. And we're like, you mind your own business. <laughs> yeah, these winters don't make sense anymore. It's like, do we even have winter anymore? Do we have anything? 
the weather's so damn manipulated, time's moving so quick, I can't adjust or get into the vibe or the, the anything. Yeah, something's in the air. I, I so easily could have stayed up all night last night, but I was like, no, I got to rest. We got a big day ahead of us. Coco Loco. Thank you, Karen. Fear not. Let's go. Just look at the sky. So I don't know what to say about that sky though. Doesn't look too normal to me. A mixture of chemtrails and manipulation up there. We're not really looking at the sky. We're looking at like a blanket of chemicals and crap over us. Because they need the skies and they can't let us see what they're preparing up there. Yeah, Susie, don't worry. So Susie messaged me and gave me some great info on uh, the whole, all the structures that the fallen angels built. And she pointed out in the Bible, the story of Samson and Delilah. So if you know what Samson did, again, this is thousands of years ago. And remember the temple that he brought down when he stood in between two pillars and then he pushed on them when he was blind and he, his hair grew back and he got his strength back and he took down the whole temple. And I'm telling you, that was most likely a fallen angel temple. So the buildings and the structures were always there. And it was Samson that was able to take one down. Watch the salt. Let's go. Yes, Susie, the pillars are mentioned way too many times. They've been here since the beginning. Since whenever the angels came here in the days of Jared, and then they created all their cities. Unbelievable. No. Coco. <laughs> yes, let them know the palm canine resistance is here. You prepare them, Coco and Prince. Prince just wants to pee pee on everything. This is Nick Hill's music store. Thanks, Laura Thomas. Yeah, these are the beautiful, beautiful palms. Two by two, they, they went onto the ark just as it was in the days of Noah. So I'm bringing these two with me so they can repopulate the Pomeranian race. <laughs> Okay, come here. Let's see your face. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you, yeah, Darlene says it. There's a lot to mention. You can't be blind no more. You can't be ignorant. There's no such thing as bliss with everything that's going on around us. So people need to pay attention, wake up, take off the blinders. Yep, stay lifted. Happy New Year, everyone, says Karen. Get off that dirty pole. Get out the mud, Prince. So who's got the, 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 the grandest plans for tonight? I'm gonna be at a few places because just gonna be working and maybe taking some pictures and helping out with some catering today. So watching some fire shows. So who's got some grand plans going on? Who's staying safe and staying in with their loved ones? that alone yep that's what it's all about Ephesians 6 11 suit up put on that full armor of God the whole armor prayers and meditation tonight yeah, very, very smart thing to do. You know, save your energy, put it to something more holy like that, for sure. Trying to rush out and go to parties and no, oh, I stopped doing that years, years, years ago. So yeah, speaking of New Year's, the last couple years, if you've seen the New Year's, celebrations from around the world they've been very dark very demonic very transhumanist a lot of these uh, cities have been doing a lot of project blue beam light shows with the fireworks and the countdown telling a story with all the signs and symbols from the Burj Khalifa in Dubai everywhere it's disgusting I've seen all the light shows and the DNA strands on New Year's Eve, like they're telling you what they're after for the year. Hold on, babies. Daddy's hand's getting cold. Print, don't pull me. Stop it.
Yeah, I'm done waiting and playing this. Well, I never played this game, but I'm done watching everyone else take part in this whole Game of Thrones type crap. And I'm not sure if any of you all have seen a film from 2014 called The Giver. I believe Meryl Streep's in that one too. Uh, I think, what's that? Taylor, Taylor something. You know, that, that big drag queen looking singer, Taylor Swift, is that it? Yeah, Taylor Swift's in it. If there is any movie out there that shows pretty much exactly the, the utopia that the governments and the, the Satanists are after, you gotta check out the film, The Giver. Let's go. You're not going to be able to get that squirrel. I know once you, um, Susie, yeah, once you take yourself out of like this world, like nothing else matters. Like, yes, I still live my life. I love my dogs. I, I have my possessions. You know, I love my Yeezys. Uh, you know, but like I'm done with this world. Um, just like going through the motions and preparing and honestly waiting to leave. I've already settled with the fact that I'm not going to grow old and live a, one of those like grandpa lives. That's not happening. I already knew that my whole life. That's why I'm almost always camoed out because I'm ready for war at any moment. And there is going to be a war. Everyone's talking about spiritual warfare. I'm like, no, spiritual warfare is long, long and done. Yeah, they're still pulling all the, the cards, but it's now physical warfare. Why, why, aren't, why else would they be using psychological and spiritual warfare for what? For all these decades to do nothing? No, to, so that you'll be psychologically and spiritually messed up that you won't even see when the physical warfare begins. And it has long begun. Once people started putting the mask on their face and getting tested and putting poison in their bodies and their children's bodies, that's it. They're winning the war, the evil ones. They got what they've been after to get inside of you physically. But first, they had to get inside your head. They had to mess you up in spiritual warfare. They had to psychologically screw with you just so that you'd be willing. Use your free will to line up for three, four hours and get, get a needle, get the snake bite. So yeah, no more spiritual, psychological warfare. They're going to keep it going to keep you trapped. But it all led up to this very moment. So they could have you willingly use your free will to, to surrender your, your body, your soul, your DNA. That's what we're seeing going on around this world. People are surrendering their souls to the beast system willingly that is what we're watching is them use their free will because no one is being forced it's just the illusion of of being forced right but how come i'm here just walking my dogs never want a mask living my best life right 
because I have no fear because I chose Jesus Christ like 14, 15 years ago now. Yeah, The Giver. I recommend watch The Giver. It's pretty good. Uh, yes, there is a book, but we don't have time to sit down or read the book. So please just watch the film, right? <laughs> Okay, babies, wait, we're almost home now. So again, when you see the news and it's constant uh, rituals and spell, like you can just turn it on now and the first thing you'll hear is, is, is what, you know, you already know what it's going to be. Cases and numbers and tests and buys of this. Wow, so you got the book of Enoch, right? No film on it. But every film has been based on it. You know what I mean? So when you look at like Clash of the Titans or all these Greek mythology films with Zeus and Hades. Uh, yeah, that's the book of Enoch right there. With them living in the sky in Olympus, that's the fallen angels in their big structures, right? Ruling over man down on earth with their little Perseus and having their demigods. The demigods are the half-breeds, the Nephilim, that, that the fallen, see, that's what all these stories are. Hercules and all that, that's all from the book of Enoch. Everything's biblical, from the Matrix to Superman, like every damn film and cartoon is just taking pages out of the Bible, taking pages out of the book of Enoch, the Apocrypha, and any other book that they've taken out of the Bible and been hiding from us. So we could have to figure it out for ourselves because they're like, oh, there's enough pieces to figure it out. You know, that's what I had to do. I couldn't find the scripture to say, yeah, the fallen angels built these heaven-ass cities. No, I just put two and two together and used my common sense. After seeing all the statues of them, seeing the impossible buildings, and coming to an understanding that yes, they came here and corrupted our DNA and they had children. So I'm like, if they can come here and have sex and fornicate with humans and all the insects and animals and create like half breeds, then of course they can do the same with stone and marble and put it together and make these glorious structures. So we're, we're here crusading on for the truth, figuring it all out sharing it quickly i wish it could have been sooner but we are in the final hour and as uh, it's, it's it's never too late it's better late than never right stop it get me tangled Wow, see? You got your family members calling you to say take it? Yeah. That, I saw a story on Facebook of some woman, her vet told her that her dog or her puppy had had the, the variant and she put him down. So this we're in the end days. This is worse than as it was in the days of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? This is some crazy disgustingness that we're going through. I would never. My babies, the palm resistance, have never taken a shot. Never. I don't take them to the vet. I don't, they don't take that crap. There's nothing wrong with them. And who's to say that humans know what these animals need? No, I go by what God tells them they need, and that's nothing. They have an immune system just like us. So they're just as pure blood as, as myself here and all you fellow crusaders. And there's people out there putting... So yeah... These beautiful, beautiful palms. Come, babies. Who had a good walk? Who had a good walk? Who had a good walk, Prince? You're not going to look at me? Ah, oh, there you go.
Coco. Everybody's shy of the camera. Okay. Good walk today. Nope. Keep, keep those jabs out of our pets too. Uh, seems like we can't get to our fellow man and woman, but they're ridiculous. If they want to line up four hours to get some experimental poison, then let them, but let's keep it out of our, our pets. Look at these beautiful babies. We have to be the voice for them. They cannot speak for themselves. What's she going to say? You know, I, I, oh, I just can't imagine just taking them to the vet and hearing all the nonsense and what needle this, needle that. No, look at these faces. Come, babies. Who's ready to go eat some breakfast? The palm resistance. All right, everyone. Have a great day. I'm signing out. I'll see you all later on. Happy New Year.